Hey, Sparks Kids, it's me again, Minister Jeff, with another week for us to grow. This week, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. I have a question. Have you ever hurt someone by mistake and you are so sorry for it? Our big idea today is we can know forgiveness because of Jesus. Will you say it with me? We can know forgiveness because of Jesus. Hi there, the Chicken Nuggets. It's How's me, it going? Carl. It's Andy. How's it going? Make sure to subscribe. Yeah, and like. Hit that, hang that, hang that ring button. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I thought we were going for like a Charlie. This Daniel is our channel. YouTube channel. Yes, welcome. Subscribe. And like. And now. Yeah, share it. <laughs> Roll that intro. Intro. Yeah. Welcome to Google. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Do you think we could do this? We don't have a choice, Andy. Okay, all right. One. Two, three. <gasps> but darn it! Oh, what happened? I thought of something bad. What was it? Thought about skipping school and going and stealing chocolate candy from my sister. Man, that stinks. Oh, hey kids, we're both trying to not make mistakes. You see, the Bible tells us not to lie, or steal, or do other things that are bad, but it's really hard to do. You're telling me it feels like I can't go one hour without messing up. I hate messing up. I know, and I hate how it makes me feel. All right, let's say how it makes us feel on the count of three. One, two, three. Gassy. Sad. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> that smells like a raccoon gave birth in a rotten banana stand. Anyway, you want to read today's Bible verses and talk about it? Uh, I guess. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Y'all are not going to believe this. Well, you know how we were both sad and down in the dumps because we couldn't stop messing up? Well, we just read something incredible. Ooh. Last week, we were talking about John the Baptist. And now some people believe that he was a savior. But in reality, he was just preparing people for the real savior. And John was actually baptizing people. Andy, what does that mean? Well, getting baptized is a lot like showing some people on the outside what is happening on your heart when we choose to follow God. We use the waters and baptisms to symbolize and show that you know, we're cleaning out the old sins from our old life to receive this new life that we have with God. But John was baptizing people and showing them that they needed to repent, right? Right. And repent means to turn away, to stop doing things that are wrong. Right. And Jesus got baptized? Right. Why do you keep saying right? It's not right at all. How can someone who had no sin and was perfect get baptized? You just said you get baptized to show that you want to get rid of your sin. Oh, uh, okay. I see why you're confused. You're right. Jesus was perfect and had no sin. But Jesus got baptized anyway to prove to everybody and show everyone that he was obeying God. This way it showed that Jesus wasn't just an ordinary person. He was sent by God. Wow. And how cool is it that John got to baptize Jesus? Very cool. And y'all won't believe what happened when Jesus came out of the water. The heavens opened up, and the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus, and God's voice was heard. That had to have been so crazy to watch. Can you imagine? I can't. I think the most exciting thing is, because of Jesus, baptism means something different. Well, really? What do you mean? Well, when John was baptizing people, he baptized them with water. Right. Great. Now I'm saying right. But it says in Mark 1 that now because of Jesus, we are now baptized with the Holy Spirit, which is God living in us. That is crazy, right? Right. There it is again. But that's not even the best part. Yeah, isn't it amazing? As soon as we choose to follow God and repent from our sins, we receive forgiveness from every time we've ever messed up. See, I love that. But I find it hard to believe. What? Why? Well, I guess that Jesus will forgive me for my tiny mess ups, especially the ones I did when I was a kid. But he'll forgive me every time I ever mess up for the rest of my life? That just doesn't make sense. 
Well, to be honest, I don't think it's very realistic either. <clears throat> but it's true. That's what's amazing about God's love. There is nothing we can do that God won't forgive. Of course, that doesn't mean we go out and do whatever we want either. That is very cool. I guess it's just hard to understand because that type of forgiveness isn't very common with uh, friends and family. Nope, but that's why God is so special. And I'm happy because we can know forgiveness because of Jesus. And now I know I'm happy because you just said our big idea. No way. Yeah. What? Today's big idea is we can know forgiveness because of Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready. Ready. One, One, two, two three. three. We, we can, can know forgiveness because of Jesus. Woo-hoo. Good job. We can know forgiveness because of Jesus. He's the savior of the world. He's the best God. Yeah, yeah. I guess we learned today that no matter how hard we try, we will never stop messing up. But we can keep trying harder and harder every day to become more like Jesus and know that he will always forgive us. Yep, and even for this. What? That. <laughs> Classic, you had something on your shirt. Flick you in the nose. That's it. See you next week, kiddos. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of I have a story of when I was a little kid like you. One time I was being bullied and I was being bullied by a girl. Yeah, a girl. This girl in my classroom had big brothers and their big brothers were really dangerous big brothers. And I did not want to get in a fight with her big brothers. So she was very unkind to me and she was very mean to me and she said mean things, and she even hit me once. Well, I didn't want to hit her back because she was a girl, and I was told not to ever hit girls. But I also didn't want to hit her back because I knew she'd tell her big brothers. Well, she was unkind to me, and she hurt me, but I had to forgive her, and I probably didn't forgive her right away. I don't remember that, but I do know in my heart this day, because of Jesus, I was able to forgive her. Now, I don't know where she is these days. I mean, that was way back in what, third or fourth grade? But it doesn't matter. In my heart, I forgive her because I know Jesus. Well, the same thing can happen to you. You, because you know Jesus, can forgive someone right away. Or if someone has hurt you in the past, you can think about it and give that over to Jesus, and he'll help you forgive them. Let's pray. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to show us what true forgiveness is, and remind us to turn to you whenever we have sinned and need forgiveness, and show us how to quickly forgive others when they have done wrong against us. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's repeat. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.
Who shakes the whole 